So we are in for a very warm weekend. The leaves are changing in some parts of the state, so you might want to go out and do a leaf peeping trip. We can help you find those leaves as they start to turn. Just take out your phone, scan that QR code right there. Heather Waldman joins us right now with more on where those leaves have already turned. Yeah, the cool air over the past couple of weeks, of course, not including the last couple of days, really helped to kind of kick this off. I'm going to show you it's sort of a modeled version of what's going on right now. It's not perfect. It's not perfectly detailed, but it gives you an idea up around Plumas County through Quincy. Some patchy color there. If you're kind of adventuring around the Tahoe Basin, you may find some patches of some bright colors. I know I saw some photos on Twitter from that yesterday, so some nice uh, colors starting to pop there, but really where things are starting to go off pretty quickly. It's down into Mono and Inyo counties where we're at slightly higher elevations and just a little bit cooler there. So some good spots, bit of a drive, Virginia Lakes and Tioga Pass. That's where the colors are near peak right now. Give it another week around Quincy, Carson Pass and Sonora Pass and things should really be peaking there. But if you do want to venture out this weekend, say around the Quincy area, it's going to be warm. Temperatures in the mid 80s in the afternoons, but if you leave early, temperatures will be starting in the mid to upper 40s. So a fall feel at least at first, but the afternoons, yeah, a bit summer like there in the high Sierra. Speaking of, as we go through the next few days around Tahoe, temperatures will be in the lower 70s. Great weekend for getting outside. Morning temperatures will be close to freezing. Notice though, as we go through Monday into Tuesday, we do start to see eh, maybe just a few showers, not a lot in the way of accumulating rainfall, but a few showers possible there for the start of the week. Same thing into the foothills. We go from near 90 Saturday and Sunday to 70 degrees on Monday, but then we see those temperatures start to climb back up towards the end of next week. And down here in the valley, mid 90s for a couple of days, not record heat, but temperatures about 10 degrees higher than average. We'll be back down in the 70s Monday.